Hey, so Ronnie, when I was walking up to your house today, yeah, uh, you weren't in the garage, and in, and I looked in your backyard. I think I saw a Bigfoot. I think that was my neighbor. Oh, yeah, Harry ape look like thing. yeah, yeah, Harry yeah. big. Yeah, walked kind of like we actually call him Harry. Harry. That's Harry. Harry, you say? Yeah. <laughs> today I met her so smart. We're talking Bigfoot. Did you know? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Brad. <laughs> and Harry, if you're watching. Bigfoot was investigated by the FBI. And you know what? We're going to tell you today on the show what they found on Men Are So Smart. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. Good morning, Ronnie. Nice to have you here. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate your views. And uh, thank you. Uh, Bigfoot was investigated by the FBI. They investigate everything, don't they? <laughs> I'm just picturing this guy underneath one of these lights. <laughs> yeah, Bigfoot, where were you on the night of November 11th? <laughs> what, size, what size foot is that? Legends of large ape-like beasts can be found all over the world. Since the 1950s, the United, and we were around, the United States version of this has been Bigfoot. Dun, dun, dun. And since 1976, the FBI has had a file on him. I'll be damned. That thick. That year, director Peter Byrne of the Bigfoot Information Center, or BIC, okay. uh, <laughs> and the exhibition in Dallas, Oregon, uh, Oregon sent the FBI about 15 <coughs> hairs attached to a tiny piece of skin. We're showing that picture right here. Uh, Byrne wrote that his organization couldn't identify what kind of animal it came from okay. and was hoping the FBI might analyze it. Uh, he also wanted to know if the FBI had analyzed suspected Bigfoot hair before, and if so, what the Bureau's conclusion was. At the time, Byrne was one of the most prominent Bigfoot researchers says Benjamin Radford, deputy editor of Skeptical Inquirer magazine. That sounds like it's on the up and up. I have to get that. In 2019, a lot of people think of Bigfoot as being sort of silly and a joke. I bet he takes it personally. I bet he does. Probably has a poor, poor ape has a complex. <laughs> uh, but in the 70s, Bigfoot was really, really popular. Yeah, we had a record out. <laughs> that was when the six million dollar man had a cameo by bigfoot i remember that episode it was hilarious oh boy I don't we're gonna have to youtube that don't think i've seen that oh it's great uh this was also after roger patterson and robert G uh, gimlin released their famous video footage in 1967 supposedly showing Bigfoot in Northern California. He was at an In-N-Out. I do remember that video footage. Okay. Very, uh, it looked too... Grainy. Yeah, it was very grainy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably taken with an iPhone 1, I'm <laughs> guessing. Uh, it's worth noting that the original evidence that launched the Bigfoot craze, a trail of oversized footprints discovered in the same region in uh, 1958... <laughs> who was revealed to be a prank by logger Roy L. Wallace. Oh, oh that Roy. He, oh, he's silly. He's a prankster. Many people believe the Bigfoot creature in the Patterson-Gimlin film was a costume prankster as well. Byrne has always believed the footage is real. Now, Jay Cochran Jr., assistant director of the FBI's Scientific and Technical Services Division, wrote back to Byrne that he couldn't find any evidence of the FBI analyzing suspected Bigfoot hair and that the FBI usually only examined physical evidence related to criminal investigations. Still, it sometimes made exceptions in the interest of research and scientific inquiry, and Cochran said he'd make such an exception for Byrne. Uh, unsurprisingly, Cochran found the hair did not belong to Bigfoot. Oh, really? They must already have some on file if they know it didn't belong to him. Yeah, how do you prove that? In early 1977, he sent the hair back to Byrne along with scientific conclusion. The hairs are of deer family origin. Four decades later, the Bureau declassified its Bigfoot file uh, about this anal uh, analyst. All right, so what you're seeing here 
It appears to be a registered letter, and it's talking about the hairs delivered to the lab. It was concluded as a result of those examinations that the hairs are from a deer family origin. I, I can see that. A horse, a deer is, you know, sometimes that hair is, an elephant has hair like that. Yeah. I rode an elephant once, bringing the circus to town, and I'm telling you what, I couldn't walk for a week. I was so sore because of those hairs on the back of their neck. Although if you were trying to cover up the existence of Bigfoot, wouldn't you tell somebody that they were from a deer? Hmm? Ooh. Conspiracy theory. Deal with it. <laughs> to be clear... This is not evidence that the FBI endorsed the existence of Bigfoot any more than the U.S. military's decade-long investigation of unexplained aerial phenomena, particularly known as UFOs, is an endorsement of the existence of aliens. No more than that. Yep. All it really means is the FBI did a favor to a Bigfoot researcher, Radford says. There's nothing wrong with that, but it shouldn't be mistaken for de facto government endorsement of the reality of Bigfoot. Yeah, you, you, you can't make that association. Even so, Bigfoot's believers may be tempted to spin it in that way. They love the idea that there's a smoking gun in the FBI files. See, look, Bigfoot must be real. Otherwise, the FBI wouldn't have taken it seriously, he continues. Well, the FBI didn't send out a team of investigators to look for Bigfoot. They agreed to run an analysis 15 dang hairs. Wow. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, to add more layers to what is already an unusual case, 93-year-old now, Byrne, doesn't remember receiving the FBI's response that the Bigfoot hair was actually deer hair. Because Byrne had been out of the country for a couple of months, Cochran sent the letter to the executive vice president of the Academy of Applied Science. That spells out ass. <laughs> <laughs> which was associated with Byrne's Bigfoot organization. The executive wrote that he would give Byrne copies of the correspondence when he returned. Yet, when the FBI released its Bigfoot file, which was exclusively about Byrne's inquiry on June 5, 2019, Byrne reacted as though he were hearing it, that it was the deer hair for the very first time. Now, obviously... Okay. Mm -hmm. I uh, can't speak for Peter Byrne, Radford says, but if you're going to make a big enough deal about this unknown specimen to give it to the FBI, then you're probably not going to want to publicize the fact that it turned out to be from a deer. Yeah, it's kind of like a failure. Um, right. It's like, oh, guess what? That's, yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. Uh, the existence of Bigfoot. I prefer to call him Yeti. Okay. Yeah. Are you close with him? I've seen him. You know him? It could have been Harry once again, but I... I, I saw Harry. <laughs> I saw a lot more Harry than I wanted to. I don't know what he was doing in the backyard like that, but he's your neighbor, not mine. Uh, I, You know what I think? I think people would love to believe that it was true. Yeah. But um, you got to see something to know that it's real. And so... And, and I know there's lots of Bigfoot sightings. I understand that. But, you know, it's not like you can get up to within five feet and take a video. It's always from 500 yards, and you show some kind of monkey walking through trees. And that's, you know, great. My, my only... The only thing now is every single person in the world has a camera on them at right, all times. Right, right, right. Okay, so why aren't there more photo... Why isn't there more photo documentation of it today than there was Better years still, ago? why don't we have Bigfoot selfies? <laughs> that would be that would be proof, wouldn't it? Because of those oh oh my god, what's that uh yeah. What's that those uh, jack links or whatever they're called? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The they beef have, jerky commercials. Yes, they have some of the best big Bigfoot they uh, do commercials i've ever seen they do and i wish bigfoot were real and i wish you were that funny shout out to them <laughs> can you imagine the, if okay we found bigfoot and he turns out to be like the next host of the tonight show <laughs> becomes a big star <laughs> takes over for howard stern you know and now it's bigfoot in the morning <laughs> 
I, uh, I don't know. You know, for those of you that watch and you, you want to believe that there's a big foot, that's fine. Yeah, good for you. You know, maybe someday you'll you'll run into him and he won't eat you. Yeah, that'd be a pleasant surprise. Do you think Bigfoot would eat you? Maybe that's why nobody's seen him recently. People that go into the woods and never come out. Yeah. They got pictures. It's just Big, they never made it back. Bigfoot food. Yeah. Well, we know he likes beef jerky. <laughs> that's true. You know that. He is a big fan. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for our episode on Bigfoot being investigated by the FBI. Who that. knew? Yeah. Yeah. They have a file on him. You know? You would think in that file you'd have a picture, but no. Him and uh, OJ. They're, <laughs> they're both mentioned prominently. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'd like to have your comments below. We hope that you enjoyed the show. If you did, give it a like. We'd appreciate that. And while you're there, oh, you know what? Subscribe to our show. But here's the thing. <coughs> and you're not going to get this from other shows. But you're going to get it from us. Because we give it to you straight. Whether you want it or not. Here's the deal. <laughs> subscribe to our show if you like. But if you're going to be a person who subscribes and then unsubscribes in two days, don't even bother. Hey. Okay, we don't need you. Not cool, dude. I, I don't I don't like seeing that people are unsubscribing. And here's why. Because I think, well, what did we do wrong? And then I think, well, maybe I didn't produce a very good uh, storyline. Maybe I didn't edit it properly. Uh, we internalize it. It hurts his feelings. It kind of does. Yeah. And it's not that I won't get over it. I will in a week or so. Maybe. <laughs> With any luck. <laughs> but see, you know what? If you're not in it for the long haul, we don't want you. Subscribe to the channel. Got it? Good. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Close this. Is that what you could call it? Open this. Copy. Paste and go. Paste and go, Ronnie. Paste and go. There we go. All right. <clears throat> a little bit. Yeah, I saw. Um, okay. Woo! Let's see. Uh, that was a little bit of a Richard Rawlings. You know who Richard Rawlings yeah, is? Yeah, the guy yeah. from the car place. Yeah, fast, fast mm -hmm. and loud. Yeah.